Hey, what's happening everybody? Your man IMG Tech back in the building, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to download torrents directly to your iDevice through a program called iTransmission. And iTransmission is that pink app on the right side of my screen right now. And for those of you who don't know how to install iTransmission, I've already uploaded a video on that on my channel, and I'll have that linked down in the description below. But before you get to any downloading of torrents, I'll let you guys know you should probably have some sort of file viewing app, such as a downloads app, which I have in my dock right now, or iFile, which you can get from Cydia. But without any further ado, let's get down to business. So we can start off by opening up the iTransmission app here. And to add your torrents to start downloading, you need to hit the little plus sign in the bottom left hand corner of the screen, so go ahead and hit that. And as you can see, you get three different options, and obviously that's web, magnet, and URL. Now of these three, Magnet is probably by far the easiest one, so I'm going to be showing you guys that one on video and then the other two I'll explain in depth since it's extremely similar to the Magnet option. So like I said, we're going to be starting off with the Magnet option and when you hit the Magnet option, you'll get this prompt that pops up that says please enter the Magnet link below. And to do this, we actually have to copy and paste the Magnet link from a web browser. So go ahead and close out of this message and exit the app and go ahead and enter your favorite web browser. I'm going to be using Chrome for this. And then once that loads up, navigate to your favorite torrent site. For this one, we'll be using the Pirate Bay. And I'm going to warn you guys, after we search the torrent, there will be some porn ads popping up on the sides. But if you don't wish to look at that, I suggest maybe you close your eyes and envision ponies prancing through a meadow. So, we're going to go ahead and search here, we're going to search for, I don't know, let's go with uh, Pulp Fiction, which is a fantastic movie for those of you who haven't seen it, I would recommend it wholeheartedly. No, not Fiction. Fiction. There we go. So after that loads up, go ahead and select the torrent you wish to download, we'll just go ahead and select this one right here. And after this page loads, you can see this little magnet icon right there so you're gonna go ahead tap and hold on get this torrent right next to the magnet copy link URL go ahead and exit that app and go back into iTransmission and from here you should be good to go to hit that little plus magnet tap paste OK and after it buffers and loads up everything gets synced and then your torrent should begin to download so now that we have the magnet link out of the way, I can go ahead and tell you guys about the URL link because it's almost exactly identical to the magnet option. So when you go ahead and hit that little URL button right there, it's going to say, please enter the existing torrent's URL. And here, instead of entering the torrent link, what you're going to do is while you're on the page for your selected torrent, copy the URL instead of the torrent link and go ahead and paste that URL right in there. Hit OK and then your torrent should begin to download exactly the same as if you would have done the magnet option. And last but not least, well actually, actually it kind of is least, we have the web option which is by far the most annoying option to deal with, I just can't stand it. So if you go ahead and hit that web option, then you're going to get an in-screen browser, it just drives me crazy how slow and laggy this thing is, it's just, oh, it's just bad news. But go ahead and navigate to your torrent website, go ahead and select your torrent, tap and hold on that download torrent, hit download, and it'll pop up in the normal download spot just like with the magnet and URL links except this method is I can't even explain to you how frustrating this method is so I know by now all of you probably have your torrents downloaded and you're like hey man what do I do with it after I downloaded it I can't do anything in this app so now I can finally address that this torrent is uh, bump 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 by B2K by the way just absolutely classic song but after your torrent is completely downloaded what you're gonna want to do is go ahead and tap on it real quick scroll down to where it says files right there to show all the files that are in the download go ahead and select the file that you want to move to a certain app and then there you go you can select which app you want to open it in and run it in it's as simple as that so I want to thank all you guys for watching this tutorial and now I'm gonna to have to be the nice guy and say if you downloaded a torrent that you enjoy and you plan on continuing to use it I recommend you actually purchasing that from a retailer or whatever it is that you're gonna get that torrent from so that way you can give back to whoever created that because in my opinion this is just kind of like a test kitchen where you can test things out to see if you really like it and obviously I'm not responsible for what you download so just be careful about torrenting and how it applies in your area of the world and I want to thank you all for watching. Be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. Watch out for new videos coming soon, and I will catch you all in the next one. Later.